I've been part of this household since 1994, so it's been a while, huh? So a lot, a lot of you, I should say, I, I should be saying, welcome home to you, huh? <laughs> what an honor to be back here at FLM with the FLM family, FLM music team. Yes, didn't they do great here? So let's praise the Lord for the talents that you have. You guys, stand up again. Thank you guys. All right. Every time I come here, I get mesmerized not only by the gifts and the talents that I see, but the unity. Just, just the spirit of family, that is a lot. And believe me, I travel a lot and I go to a lot of churches, I go to a lot of countries. And I see what I, you can feel the spirit when, once you go in. There's something going wrong, something fishy going wrong, but here you just feel like, ha, ah, I am at home. This is great. I feel at ease. Especially the music here is medicine to our souls, isn't it? And thank you, Katie, for I mean, you couldn't have said it better about Paul, uh, uh, Saul, and, and David playing. The harp and the lyre, this is a beautiful instrument. Well, actually, the piano is a descendant of the harp and the lyre. What you see inside here, the piano, I don't know if you can, if you can take a look. This is a harp of the piano inside. That's why it has that beautiful sound. Listen. That is the harp inside. Can you see that? And get the hammers, get the hammers right there. Not the MC, just the hammers. Someone, some of you got it. There you go. I needed that. <laughs> See that here? And this is about five, 5,000 years ago at least. That, of course, all those instruments were part of the, uh, the Hebrew her heritage. Not only that, but the flutes. The guitars are also the center of that. The cymbals, tambourines. I think that's somewhere in the Bible. Where is that again? Praise the Lord with? What psalm is that? Come on, guys. Am I at the right church? 150, right? Praise the Lord with the cymbals. Tyler, hello. Praise the Lord with the cymbals. That's not praising. There you go. <laughs> all right, praise the Lord with it. All the, it says in Spanish, I like how it says in Spanish, Simbalo resonante, resounding symbols. Go ahead again. There you go. Yeah, how about the drums? They're a descendant of everything that had to do, uh, made by, by skin. So they, they took cattle skin, goat skin, sheep skin, and they made all those instruments. This one here, the djembe, can you, can, you, can you show that one to everyone? That one there, is, that's thousands of years old. Not that one, but it's a replica, of course. But that comes from Africa. And that's in the Bible, too. They used to uh, play those instruments as an instrument of war, to call from one tribe to another. And that's in the Bible, too, right? When the people of Israel just walked ahead of the people and the, and the, and the, and the how many people were like thousands, right? And what happened to the enemies? They collapsed. What happened when he said, walks around the city of Jericho for how many days? How many, how many uh, rounds? And the seventh, what did they do? They did this. Exactly. So many composers read the Bible, read the Torah, you know, all those ancient books, uh, just Josiah books and all those books about how they use music a thousand years ago. But uh, there are composers that are as important in our generation, in our, in our uh, Western hemisphere, such as Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, he composed for the Lord in church. There are many pieces that he wrote. Uh, there's one, I'm sure you, you've heard this.
Beautiful. So here, you hear that in organs, big pipe organs. And they're made out of uh, sound resounding in the pipes in the cathedrals. And that was like in the 1600s. Then in the 1700s, we got people like Mozart. You know Mozart? And then in the late 1700s, 1800s, we got Beethoven. You've heard that before, right? There's one, uh, I have so many anecdotes about Beethoven. I started playing Beethoven when I was three years old, three. I received my first little piano. It was a toy for everyone. But for me, it was something that would make really good noise. I would take that piano to church, and the sound, it was peculiar because it, peculiar it sounded like the church pianist piano. But his toy was much bigger than mine, so I was kind of jealous. So I heard him, I heard him play this big organ and, and piano. Big Beethoven, joyful, joyful. Then I went to my little toy. It didn't stop there. No, didn't you like my first concert when I was three? Then the pianist told my mom, he's gonna be a great pianist because he, he can listen to anything and just play and imitate. Then I, and then my, my dad got me a bigger keyboard, and then he got me a piano like this, and I started Be Beethoven every day, just Beethoven, just the scale, and all the big chords and the symphonies, and the joy Joyful Joyful is one of my favorites. Is it one of yours too?
God can give you a gift anywhere in the world. It could be born in, on the beach or in the mountains or anywhere. He, when he chooses you, he chooses you. The difference is what, what do you do with that gift? Do you hide it under the carpet? Or do you give it back to him? Do you work hard and, and become uh, and just like Pastor was saying this morning, are you going good with math? You know, one plus one, what? So one talent plus another talent, and then two plus two, you keep developing talents, right? And it's in the Bible. So in this case, musical talents that are very unique. And I go to many places and I get mesmerized by the talents that I get to meet and to see. Some of them are in process, some of them are, some of them are in development, and some of them are professionals, but they're praising the same God that we're praising here tonight. And these talents are gifts, the singers and the musicians are, they're doing what they do best to give it back to the Lord. And that's what's important because he's going to use them. He's going he's to bless this city through this ministry. He's going to be, he's been doing that for years, but it keeps getting better. Every time I come, I'm like, ah, oh, this is getting better and better. And everyone here represents a, a, a different generation, a different a style of music. Do you like jazz? Yes. Are you like a nice la jazz listener? Yes. Yeah, you get home and you're like, I need some nice jazz. But you know who can play, really play jazz here? With a trombone? That gentleman right there, Nick. Yes. And we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing some jazz too in December in the Christmas concert. You start getting ready for that. These guys are full of surprises. They are full of, especially this guy right here is full of surprises. <laughs> just, just you wait what he has in store for you guys. Huh? Are you ready, Nick? Come over. Yeah.
We can't finish here without doing the movie themes. You like that part? You remember that? You, you want me to do it or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was gonna do it anyway. Okay, start get, giving me some of my best movies. Come on. James Bond. Okay, James Bond. Mission Impossible. Star Wars. Pirates of the Caribbean. The Bodyguard. Batman. The Incredibles. Titanic. All right, good. I got him. What? What did you say? Harlem Nights. Oh. Hey. Terminator. The Entertainer. The Godfather. Whoa. You guys are good. Okay, you ready to go to the movies? You get your popcorn?
Amen.